If you want to tangle with fickle, hard to hook trout, you need to be pulling soft plastic grubs. If you want to get into grub trolling, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and grab one of Kel Kellogg's signature series grub kits today and you'll be yelling fish on tomorrow. Wes is reeling in another fish that hammered a medium-sized FHS trout grub. Get back here where I can see what's going on. That bright sun is brutal. But uh, oh wow, he's jumping back there. That was fantastic. That, it hit like a big fish, but who knows? They all hit like a big fish. Wes is playing him like a pro. The low rod angle, keeping him from jumping or keeping the jumps to a minimum. You don't, again, you don't want him thrashing on the surface. And that fish is doing some, some wicked head shaking down there. And I'm just kind of standing back here and filming from behind because I know Wes is going to be going after that net in a second. Oh wow. That is a fighter right there. That's great. Good deal. I haven't seen him yet, but he's down there. Oh, he's trying to, he wants to come up. Now, see, that fish would be thrashing on the surface if it wasn't for that low rod angle. He's trying to come up. He's down there, he's thrashing, he's head shaking. But as long as you keep him under the water, it cushions everything, and you've got a much better chance of landing a fish, particularly a big fish. We don't know how big this fish is. He's probably pan sized, but. Uh, He's putting up a good scrap. Wow, he's putting up a nice fight. That might be a better fish than I thought. I see the swivel. I don't see the fish. Oh, I saw a glimpse there. Okay. He looks good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, he's a chunk. He's a chunky rainbow. Oh, that's a nice two pounder. Maybe something like that. On the pink grub, getting it done. Oh, and I think he really took that grub deep. Oh yeah, that one, that one is bleeding. He took that grub super deep. Let me pull a little line here. Now that's one that is probably going home for dinner. Look at that. That's what a grub can do, guys. That's how confident that trout was that that grub was the real deal. That grub is way down in that fish's throat. He just pounced on it, he ate it, he was convinced it was the real deal, and uh, the rest is history. Looks like we're having trout for dinner, Wes. All right. Sweet. Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. You've seen me and my clients catch a bunch of trout this spring on worms. And you know what I say about worms? When the going gets tough and you absolutely positively have to catch a trout, put on a threaded worm, put a worm on a slow death hook, and you are likely to hook up. All you gotta do is troll that worm between one and 1 1.8 miles an hour. You might wanna team it with a small blade. You might wanna fish it naked. You might have to do a little experimenting, but the bottom line is when the going gets tough and you need to put your clients on fish or you wanna put yourself on fish, bust out the night crawlers and your troubles are usually over. Now I've been getting a lot of emails lately, guys asking me what is an alternative, what is a viable alternative to using night crawlers? And well, my first knee, knee jerk reaction would be use a gulp worm, but I'll take those off the table too because I think these are guys that really want to get away from using worms or maybe they're fishing at lakes that don't allow natural bait or maybe they just don't have access to the bait or whatever. I've got two really good worm alternatives that you should absolutely have in your tackle box. My number one alternative to a worm is a rigged curly tail grub. These are all um, FHS grubs. We've got the three inchers up here. We've got some medium sized grubs here and we've got some tiny little grubs down here. They are extremely versatile. Um, they have a lot of action at low speeds. They've got that swimming tail. Um, I like to troll them naked a lot. When the bite's tough, troll your grubs naked. I like to start out with three inchers. If three inchers aren't working, I'll go to the two inchers. And of course, the nice thing about grubs is, is they come in a huge spectrum of colors. When a trout comes up and grabs a grub, maybe just grabs at the tail or whatever, it feels soft. It feels real. That encourages them to take a bigger bite, get the lure further back in their mouth. That results in a good hookup and you're gonna land a lot of those fish. So my number one worm substitute is a curly tailed grub, usually trolled naked anywhere from one to 1.8 miles an hour. 
if the grubs aren't working, if that curly tail is too much, and sometimes it's too much. Sometimes when the trout are lethargic or they're in transition, they just don't want that action, but they're still willing to hit the right offering. They're willing to hit a threaded worm. Lots of times you can take a dark colored tube like this mud, mud bug colored shad tube here and uh, put that on and fish it without a wiggle disc, fish it without any kind of blade, just put a treble hook in it, troll it straight through the water. It's kind of a do nothing presentation. It will flat out work when the fish are lethargic. Sometimes less is more and it's a lot like the grub in that. If they come in here and nip at the tail or nip at the body, it feels soft, it feels real. They get it well back in their mouth. <coughs> fish on you're gonna land most of those fish because you're getting them in the hard part of the mouth it's a total win so my number one choice during a tough bite is a threaded worm or a threaded gulp crawler if you don't want to use worms or you can't use worms bust out those curly tail grubs and bust out your tubes and fish them naked you've probably never seen anybody fish a naked tube before I'm here to tell you they flat out work. It's just like when a bass guy reaches for a four inch straight tail magic worm. There's not a lot of action there, but that doesn't matter. Sometimes that's exactly what you want. You want limited action for maximum results. And remember, when you're busting out this kind of stuff, you're fishing for you know trout that are kind of in a funk. So you gotta play around with the more subtle presentations. And there are a few things as subtle as a tube rigged with you know no blades no flashers no nothing anyway i'm kel kellogg i'm signing off for now if you want to check out our full line of fish hunt shoot productions grubs and our full line of fish hunt shoot productions tubes we have two awesome kits in our store over at fishhuntshoot.com i want to thank you guys for watching the channel thank you for all the support um if you want to know what i'm talking about on a daily basis here on youtube and i do put up a video every single day talking fishing tactics go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll always know when i'm on here blabbering about trout fishing or something else like ufos or stripers or whatever i happen to be talking about on any given day i want you to wear your life jackets be safe out there and i will catch you next time right here on youtube guys